Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to cover the difference between Kaggle and real world projects. And uh, it's not just about Kaggle, but any data science competition or hackathon for that matter. Kaggle is a really good platform to get started with data science and even to keep yourself updated with state of the art algorithms and frameworks in data science space. But is it really enough to make you a real world data scientist? Let's find out. First of all, let's have a look at the agenda today. Uh, we'll see what Kaggle platform looks like, how Kagglers compete there, uh, what a typical real world project looks like, a head to head comparison between Kaggle competitions and real world data science project, some general differences as well, and uh, concluding thoughts towards the end. So let's get started. Kaggle platform has five main sections. You can take part in competitions. Some sample competitions are also there for the beginners. You can take part in discussion forums. You can also have a look at the kernels or notebooks from other Kagglers to review their approach. There is a data set section as well where you can own your data skills by managing and exploring the data set. And if you are a complete beginner, you can find introductory to intermediate level courses as well. So in a Kaggle competition, you get a well-defined problem statement with evaluation and competition timelines. You build a baseline, review others' approaches if they have made their notebooks public. You can engage in discussion forums to understand the competition better. Uh, based on these findings, you iterate your data science pipeline till the deadline. You also get partially exposed test data set to give you an idea how good is your solution. There are public and private leaderboards. Public leaderboard is a real time and uh, based on the exposed part of the test data set, private leaderboard is made public after the end of the competition which is based on hidden part uh, of the test data set while in a typical real world project you identify and evaluate the opportunity you develop a business understanding of the problem you are looking to solve you fetch qualify and analyze available data set uh, build a prototype or POC to get the buy-in from the project sponsors to convert it into a full-fledged solution or product. You follow crisp DM methodology to build the model and deploy, host, and monitor the model in production. Now, in head-to-head -head comparison, you can see that in Kaggle competitions, problem statement is well-defined, while in real-world projects, you may need to first identify uh, an opportunity and then formulate the problem statement. In Kaggle, datasets are available while real world, you need to identify and fetch relevant data. In Kaggle, trained test real datasets are already segregated while in real world, you need to analyze what kind of split best suits to your project. In Kaggle, there are restrictions to use outside data, while in real world, you can keep looking for additional relevant data. In Kaggle, evaluation criteria is already defined for you, while in real world, you need to explore which evaluation criteria suits the best for your use case. There are differences between evaluation criteria and business KPIs. So you need to be aware of uh, and take care of that as well. I will talk about it in detail later. In Kaggle, you need to submit your results in a specific format, while in real world, you generally deploy and host the model for business stakeholders. In Kaggle, you get a deadline for the competitions, uh, while in real world, you can continue as long as project has funds or there are uh, project sponsors wants you to do that. Now, let's have a look at the general differences. In Kaggle competitions, you have a leaderboard to know where you stand compared to other participants, while in real-world projects, you are the best as long as you are not challenged. 
in kaggle the expectation is to move higher on the leaderboard while in real world you need to manage the expectations of the project stakeholders in kaggle you can use all the resources you can uh, while in real world you take every decision with respect to its business value in kaggle competition timelines are important in real world time to market is an important aspect in kaggle you can collaborate uh, with uh, other participants to form a team in real world you and other team members need to develop a t shaped skill set where horizontal line represents the data literacy shared across the team and vertical line represents depth in the particular area like a cloud engineer's horizontal skill is his data literacy and the end to end understanding of the work being done in a project while his vertical skill is cloud computing in general kaggle competitions models uh, can be as complex as they can in order to improve accuracy while in real world practical deployment aspects are also considered so uh, what is the takeaway of this session in my view uh, kaggle is a useful platform uh, provided it has other components as well apart from competitions real world projects are different in many aspects as uh, we discussed earlier regarding the effectiveness of uh, kaggle platform as a learning tool is uh, really subjective a data science beginner may find it very useful and can also use this platform to showcase his skills while an experienced data scientist may not have enough time to take part in live competitions still he can visit the platform intermittently to find any competition which may relate to the real world problem he is solving so uh, this is it for now i hope you found this episode useful let me know your views in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe to my channel to get an update whenever i upload the new content stay tuned bye for now